Hello everyone. Here we are still on the tramp. Been working away at all the little repair places. And now I've got them down to or putting on a heavy coat of high build primer, also known as feather fill or slick sand. This is a catalyzed primer that really got a lot of body to it. And by being catalyzed, it doesn't shrink, so it makes a good base. And this inner wheel tub didn't have any damage, but the forming of the metal from the factory left a lot of imperfections and ridges. So I'm putting a couple of heavy coats of the feather fill in there, and we'll block it down and it'll be nice and slick. And back inside now, and when I was pulling on the front launch panel that worked so well, I decided to apply the same technique here on the headlight. It had also taken a punch and had recessed itself into this front core support panel. You see this one here transitions out nicely, and this one is shoved in quite a bit actually. So we're going to pretty much do like we did before. I'm putting some tension on it, and some heat, and we'll see if we can't coax it out. started out using a rubber hammer but as you see later on that uh, went back to using my steel hammer and give it a good whack and we got Tim in the background there he did a really nice job of putting on some skim coats of body filler and taking, blocking down some of the minor imperfections. A lot of them were just factory ripples and diligently working until he's got a couple of nice smooth doors that we can put on the car.
have to admit it took me a few years to figure it out, but eventually I found that lots of well-placed smaller taps often ended up with a much nicer job than just going in and aggressively beating the sheet metal around to where I wanted it to be. It wants to go back to its right shape. All I got to do is figure out how to coax it. And you may notice here I had the same situation I had with pulling the volants. That the amount of force to pull the headlight hole out it was moving the upper portion too far. So I put a tie down strap around it and now I can get more pressure into the area I want and gently hammer and dolling that curved area that is suck in and try to get it to come out nice and flat. And this is the undamaged left headlight mounting area. And as we can see, I've successfully pulled this one out. And I do believe that the headlight will now shine straight down the highway. The oncoming traffic should be thankful. And getting to the end of this video, here's Tim putting some guide coat on the front of the lots after the feather fill has dried and we'll be smoothing out the, the orange peel and imperfection and mixing it nice and slick and straight I've finished the A and B pillars got a little light dusting of, of lacquer primer on it that I'll be using just as a guide coat and finish sanding that the rear volants is done the corners are done As we work our way around here, all of the areas that I've added sheet metal or did heavy repairs are now in their final priming. So this is a major milestone. We'll be prepping the tub for paint. Thank you much for watching and we'll catch you on the next video.